guys welcome back okay so it's time for a declutter you guys it is time for a declutter and i know you're thinking to yourself kk you about to get rid of some of your palettes girl uh no y'all know i ain't decluttering none of my palettes <laughs> okay so uh scratch that okay but I am going to go through my bin of foundations. This is all of my foundations. And we're going to do a cutthroat declutter, okay? I've really been... There have been a lot of new foundation launches and stuff that I've been trying and checking out and having a good time with. So some of these old foundations that I have really been hesitating to part with they going to have to go. But I do have, you know, quite a few new foundations that I haven't, that I either am in the process of trying or haven't even tried out yet that, of course, they ain't going nowhere. So, um, you know what? I need to get something to, I need to get another basket to put the ones that I'm keeping in. Please hold. Okay, so I'll just use this basket for the ones that I'm going to be keeping. It's a big basket, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, so I will put that there. And then I have a little bin for the ones that I'm getting rid of or decluttering. Okay, so we're just going to jump right in and go for it. Okay, some of this stuff, I don't even know why I have it. I don't know what made me think I was about to sit down and read anything without my glasses. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the first one I have here is this e.l.f. Foundation Serum with Goji Berry. Now, I bought this in a e.l.f. Um, you know how they have their 50% off sales. And I did an e.l.f. haul a long time ago. And I just kind of stocked up on a bunch of stuff. Now, that's what it looks like. I couldn't really get into it because it was just a little too sheer and a little too, what do you call it, um, dewy. <laughs> yeah, just a little too sheer and a little too dewy. So, you know, it never set down the way I needed it to. So, yeah, this is going in the declutter box. I mean, it's a nice color, but it's just too sheer. Okay, e.l.f., another e.l.f. This is their... Um, just their regular basic foundation. I have two e.l.f. foundations. One that's a little darker, one that's a little lighter. Um, the light one is cinnamon and the dark one is espresso. And I think I got both colors because I couldn't really find my perfect shade. So I think I got both colors trying to do that. And yeah, Ooh. and one was just too light. One is just too dark. Now, the e.l.f. foundations are pretty thick, as you can see. Now, if I mix those two together, it would be, you know, closer to a shade match for me. But it's pretty thick. Um, I'm going to put the... Mm, dang it. I'm going to put the e.l.f. on the maybe. I'm going I'm to have a maybe pile, you guys, because... I don't exactly remember if I like it or not. I know it is super thick and the coverage is really good. I know the coverage is amazing, but I'm not sure if I like it or not. Okay, so, okay now, my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I just got this. I'm still testing it out, so that ain't going nowhere. Y'all know that. Um, also, really new, I got... My Urban Decay, and this is the Stay a Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I just got that. Now, I have the shade 71WY. Keeping that. Y'all know that ain't going nowhere. Oh, and for the Fenty, I have 420, just in case you're curious as far as the shade reference, 420. Now, let me just go through, actually, my new foundations that I just got that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Um, this Becca foundation that my girl Lily got me. She got me the color mahogany. So I just got that. That ain't going nowhere. My Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation. And this one is in the color cappuccino. I just got this. I'm doing a try on. I'm actually wearing it right now. Ow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm testing this out today, actually. So that ain't going nowhere. 
Now, I've been wanting to try this for the longest, but I am like, I'm cheap, y'all. You know what? I take that back. I'm not cheap. I'm just very selective as far as what I want to spend a lot of money on, okay? And foundation is not one of those things because I've tried a lot of higher end, more expensive foundations that I don't like. So I hate when I spend 40, 50, 60 bucks on a foundation and it's not any better than my Maybelline, okay? So anyways, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now, honey, I have been wanting to try this out for so freaking long. So I finally bit the bullet, bought some during the Sephora VIB sale. Now I have six W1 sandalwood. So y'all pray for me. Let's hope that this works. I will be testing this out in a video very soon. Okay. But I'm excited about that. Okay. Um, let me, you know what? Let me go through my stick foundations because I do not have good luck with stick foundations at all, you guys. And I keep purchasing them like something different is going to happen. It's like, KK, stop purchasing stick foundations. You don't like them, child. So anyways, this one is the ColourPop stick foundation. This is a no filter stick. And this is in dark 175W. So let me go ahead and swatch this just in case you're curious. Um, this one, it's not too bad. I mean, the color match was pretty good, but it's like, even though it's a nice coverage and it's a good color match, I can feel it. I can feel it. It just feels a little too thick and a little, I don't know. I think I'm going to try it out one more time and see how I feel about it. So I'm going to keep this because... The color match is good. So I'm going to try it out one more time. Okay, I also got this Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation. What is this? This is 355 Coconut. So I got this one from Maybelline. And this one has, I guess, like the little moisturizer in the middle. I don't know. I mean, it's a good color match. You know, as you can see, it's a good color match for me, but it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's a little creamy too. I don't know. It feels kind of nice, but I could definitely tell that I would be able to feel that on my face. And I just, I don't like that thick foundation feeling, you know? So I'm going to try this one more time, you guys. And <laughs> I know it's supposed to be cutthroat, right? I'm going to try it one more time because I must say I don't really give stick foundations a good enough shot. So I'm going to try it one more time. Now, this one here is a Revolution F14 Fast Base Stick Foundation. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like in this like peachy container or tan container. And this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and swatch this. Now, this one... When I used it, it was a little bit too greasy and I didn't really like the color of it. When I put it all over my face, it kind of made me look gray. Now on my hand, it looks like a pretty good color match. But if you look at it closely, you can see that it would kind of make me look a little bit gray if it was all over my face, you know, and you guys know I like to have a nice bronzy gold tone and this one just doesn't have it. So I'm going to put this in the declutter pile. I'm actually going to check my receipts because it wasn't that long ago when I bought this and see if I could take it back. If not, it's got to go. I don't want that one because I don't like the undertone. Now, I have here this Super Stay. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation. And it's the one that has a little applicator on the end. So that's what she looks like. And this one is in 360 Mocha. Whew. I do not remember. <laughs> how I feel about this one. I'm thinking it wasn't too bad because I don't recall having any really bad feelings about it. It looks pretty creamy. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, she looks pretty creamy, but the color, yeah, I think the color pulled a little bit orange on me. Now, just looking at it on my hand, that's probably why I didn't wasn't really feeling it because I think it pulls a little bit orange. So yeah, this one is 360 Mocha. So I'm going to put that in the declutter bin. So I think those are all my stick foundations. Yes. Okay. So let's just run through. Okay. BH Cosmetics, BH Liquid Foundation, Naturally Flawless. I don't like this. <laughs> 
I know I don't like it. It has a pump. I remember um, when I tried it out in a video, I didn't like it. Um, it is, what is this? This is supposed to be naturally flawless, like a natural finish. But this stuff, it was like mad shiny. Like mad shiny on my face. You see that? Just like crazy dewy, crazy shiny. And as you can see, it's mad orange. So it had me looking like a holiday pumpkin, okay? So yeah, BH Cosmetics, honey, you going in the declutter pile, okay? Okay, next I have this LA Girl Pro Matte uh, Foundation. And this one, oh, you know what did I say? The BH Cosmetics was in Warm Chestnut. Should have been called Orange Chestnut, okay? So, okay, next I have here LA Girl Pro Matte. And this is in the color Nutmeg. So, yeah, when this first came out, I think I was really feeling it. I do. I think I was really feeling it. And then it was like, mm, you know what? I ain't feeling you no more. So let me just take a quick look. Yeah, this one would definitely be like a summer shade for me. I don't know if you can try to see what's the best light. Okay. Yeah, so it's a good, a really good color match. It is. But this one would give me more of like a neutral undertone. If you can see that, it would give me more of like a neutral undertone as opposed to like the gold or yellow undertone that I like. So it's not bad as far as the color match. Um, it's very thick. She's she's a thick one. She's a thick one. Okay. So it's very thick. And that's probably a reason why I stopped wearing it. Because, you know, sometimes thick foundation. Mm. I don't know, though. Eh, I think I'm a keeper. I'm a, I'm a keeper. <laughs> I'm a keep her because I'm not feeling like I hate her. I'm not feeling like I hate her, so I'm a keep her. Okay, next I have here. Oh, that was not even open. Okay, LA Colors. LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. Hello, in the color Cappuccino. I have two of these, one that's open, one that's not open. Um, so clearly, I must have really liked it when I was using it or else I wouldn't have bought a backup. So let's just take a look at this. Okay. Oh, she's a thick one too, okay? She's very thick. Very thick. <laughs> very thick oh my goodness okay let's see what's happening here okay so i spread her out all over my hand and as you can see she is a good color match for me she has more of that cool tone so eh, i mean it's not bad it's not bad but she is very thick and she's drying down nicely matte though hello okay yeah i like her <laughs> So I'll be keeping both of these from LA Colors. That's the Truly Matte. Okay, next I have this LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. And this one is in the color Coffee. And I think this is the one that, you know, is not matte. It's their, I think it's their original foundation. And some of these are, are like old, you guys. <laughs> some of them are pretty old. So they might not even make this foundation anymore. They might have, you know, upgraded the formula. So this is what that one looks like. Nice consistency, like a nice in-between as far as thick and thinness. Um, yeah, I mean, she's a good color match for sure. She's um, full coverage, but she doesn't matte down. And that is a little bit too dewy for my liking. I would have to put a lot of powder on to be happy with that. And my face would feel very heavy and cakey. So she is going in the declutter. See you later, LA girl. Okay, next, I have this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter. This one is in the color 450 Mocha. And this was a very messy foundation. I mean, the idea behind it is kind of cool, but the actual use of it is not. It has an applicator on here, which is impossible to clean. The foundation comes out of this little hole here, and it's like you twist it up until the foundation comes up, so it starts to squirt up like that, and... It's supposed to be a good foundation for like on the go or if you're traveling and you need to pick up something with an applicator attached to it, but 
and you know it's pretty thick pretty shiny i mean yeah it's it's decent it's like a nice chocolatey shade it's a decent color match but i can tell that i wouldn't like the finish of it it would be way too thick and dewy for me so yeah this one is going in the declutter mm. okay so next i want to talk about some of my maybelline foundations i have a lot of the maybelline matte poreless foundations because y'all know this foundation is the bomb okay i love it but the superstay the maybelline superstay with the white cap i like this one even more this one is even better okay this used to be my first love the matte poreless one in the shade 360 so i have like <laughs> three of these okay so i'm keeping those those ain't going nowhere and i also bought the color 368 i don't know what i was doing because the 360 is actually a little uh dark for me sometimes so i don't know why i bought this so this might actually be decluttered because i have no use for the 368 ever but the Super Stay, and this one is actually brand new. Do I want to open this? Because the one that I use all the time is in my travel kit, okay? But this is the 356 Coconut in the Super Stay, and I like this stuff, you guys. Y'all have to just take my word for it. It's an excellent match for me. I love the finish. It's all day, full covered, long wearing. The Super Stay is the bomb, so it ain't going nowhere. Okay. Now, this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I bought this a long time ago because I wanted to try out some Rimmel foundations. I know some people like them, but I was never able to find a good color match for me. So this one, what color is this? Deep Mocha. I don't know. They just, they either pulled a little too cool tone or too orange. So... And it's like super duper thick. It's almost like a freaking paste. But let me just show you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like putting spackle on your face. So, I mean, it's a decent color match, but it is very, very thick. If you can see that, it's like, it's really thick. And that's a little too thick for my liking. I kind of tend to like a thinner thinner formula foundation because it's like you can feel it less you can't feel it so heavy on your face so she's going in the declutter bin okay next i have this l'oreal infallible this is a 24 hour in 312 cocoa so this is what she looks like and just looking at the packaging you would be like girl that is too orange okay and i do i do i think that <laughs> think that the color when I put it on was just like it pulled really really orange so let's just take a look it's matte thick as well you can see that it's pretty thick but it has a little bit of shine to it but oh yeah this one is actually a little dark it's actually a little dark and orange so yeah that is not the best match for me so yeah, sorry, L'Oreal, you're going in the declutter bin. <laughs> okay, this looks like something I got in one of my monthly subscription boxes. This is Makeup Forever Ultra, H Ultra HD Perfecting Blurring Skin Tint with Broad Spectrum SPF 25. So yeah, it's like a little sample that I got. This is what it looks like. And I, I don't really go for skin tints, skin blurs. Uh, CC creams, BB creams, all that stuff because that stuff don't do nothing for my face. So this is what that looks like. You know, it's it's pretty light and typically these are supposed to be, you know, a little bit thinner or whatever, but yeah, that would not look good on me. That would make me look like I'm trying to wear something that's way too light for me. So this is going in the declutter. Another small sample that I got from Sephora, probably when I ordered something, is this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I know when this came out, everybody was going crazy over it and stuff. Like, oh my gosh, got to try it, blah, blah, blah. So I was really happy to get the sample and I didn't have to, you know, actually buy it. And I don't re recall liking this. 
it seemed like I did not like the finish. I did not like the color. I didn't like anything about this foundation. This is what it looks like. And what color is this? Golden Almond. Okay, so yeah, this is Golden Almond. And, you know, I mean, I could pull it off if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. I don't like the finish. I don't like the way it looks. It's too dewy, too shiny, too thick. Yeah, I'm not here for it at all. So this little sample is going in the declutter bin. And it sucks because I don't really have anyone close by or near me that's the same color as me foundation wise. My daughter is lighter than me, so she can't wear my foundation. And, you know, everybody else is different shades than me, so... Okay, so next I have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. Now, I haven't used this in a long time. It seems like I tried this out a couple of times and moved on, you know, stuff happens, right? But this one is in the shade Deep Rich. Deep Rich. <laughs> so let's see what's happening. I might have to, might have to try this one. Oh, okay, that's probably why I didn't. <laughs> stop wearing it because look at the color on that the color is uh, it's a little deep and it's a little orange so yeah if i had this on i would be pulling a little bit too orange so yeah that's why i stopped wearing it da -da 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 -da. okay nicks you're going into the clutter uh, yeah bye nicks Okay, next I have here, Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. Okay, y'all, I already know this foundation is nice, okay? Now for a drugstore foundation, this Wet n Wild foundation has like major coverage and lasting stain powder, <laughs> powder, lasting stain power, but um, and it, it has a little paddle. What color do I have? Espresso. Um... It pulls a little orange and it smells straight up like paint, okay? It straight up smells like paint. So this is what she looks like. You know, she's not super duper thick. She has a nice consistency and everything. Is this matte? I don't even remember. Yeah, no. But see, you can see it pulls really orange. Um, And it does. It smells straight up like paint. It smells like I just painted my, <laughs> painted my house. So... Mm, I'm not here for the orangeness. I mean, it's not a bad foundation, though. If you can find your shade, it's not bad. Excellent coverage, but yeah, I can't I can't do the orange. Now that brands are making, actually making shades that match us and fit us, I ain't got to fight with the orange no more, y'all. So you got to go wet and wild. They might have some newer shades for me to try, too. Okay. Next, I have here L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And this one is, it says it's Cool Tone and it's in Cocoa C8. Now, this foundation, I like, you guys. I really, really like this L'Oreal True Match. But, you know, and it's kind of, has a little bit more of a liquidy consistency. But it looks really good when I do my face. With this foundation, it looks really nice. You know, it, it does look like it has a little bit of orangeness to it, but even though it says it's cool tone, it looks nice on me. The undertone and everything, it actually looks pretty decent on me. So I'm not mad at it. I like this L'Oreal True Match and I'm keeping it. Okay, she ain't going nowhere. <sighs> okay, next I have here the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Now, when I first tried this out, what color do I have? Deep Dark 185. When I first tried this out, I kind of felt like I liked it. But after using it again after that, it's, it's kind of thick too. It has a little bit of a thick consistency to it, if you can see that. You know, it's a nice finish and it's a decent color match somewhat to me. But... Uh, I don't know. I used it a couple of times. It's kind of thick, so I know I would definitely feel it on my face. Um, kind of heavy. You know, I definitely would feel it kind of heavy on my face. And it seems like after I used it a couple of times, I wasn't really feeling it too much. I don't know why, but 
And I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile over here with the elf for now, <laughs> cause I'm not sure on that, not sure. Okay, next I have this foundation that I've had for a hot minute. This is a Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Cream Foundation in the color Coco Dark 3. And this has SPF 18 sunscreen in it. Now, I got this on sale like a long time ago and <laughs> It's super duper thick, as you can see, very thick, and ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> it's like a freaking, like, super thick, it feels like frosting, it really does, it feels like frosting, it's super duper thick, it's not matte, it says all day hydration with avocado, yeah, it's, it's too thick, it is too thick, it's not matte, I mean, the color is okay. It pulls a little bit orange, but yeah, this is going into the clutter. I'm not feeling it's that. It's crazy because I love full coverage foundation, but if it's too thick, uh-uh. No, no thank you. No thank you. Okay, next, I have my NYX Total Control Drops, and this one is in the color Cappuccino. Okay, and I already know I like these drops like them a lot i need to use them more but they're not the easiest foundation to put on because they are so liquidy and because they are drops i find that i have to use quite a bit of it to cover my whole face this is what it looks like as you can see it's very runny you know but it is a nice shade for me i really do like it let me blend it out yeah it's nice and thin and it gives really really good coverage so i do I like the NYX Control Drops. They're not too bad. I don't think these are matte matte. I don't recall these being super matte. So, but yeah, it's a it's a decent uh, a decent color match, and it's not too thick. That's the difference with if it's not for me at least. If it's not going to be matte, it can't be thick. You know, I could deal with it if it's kind of thin because, you know, then I could just lightly powder over it and it's not a big deal. But yeah, if it's like super duper thick, I don't want it. So this is the NYX Control Drop. I am keeping that. Next, I have my Juvia's Place and this is the new foundation. Of course, they only have this one. And I have the shade Burkina. I did test this out for quite a while and I really like it. Very, very thick. As you can see, mad thick, but um, the coverage is like crazy, crazy coverage. And it does kind of, you know, mattify down on the face. So even though it is thick, it does kind of mattify a little bit. It's not too, too, you know, shiny. And the, co the color match for me is just like spot on. So I really like it. I don't have to use a whole, whole lot of it. And yeah. It's not super duper shiny and dewy. You know, it does kind of dry down a bit. So I like the Juvia's foundation. I'm keeping it. Okay, next I have this foundation. I've had this for a while. I don't even know if they still sell this stuff. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. And I have the color 130. I don't know what the name is, honey. I cannot read that. Oh, Coco. You know, it's either going to be Coco, Cappuccino, Espresso, one of those. But this is the Dream Liquid Mousse. And I used to really like this stuff because, I don't know, it felt it felt like mousse when you put it on. It wasn't super duper heavy or anything, but as you can see, it's pretty thick. And it's a little dark. It looks like my summer shade. I mean, right now I'm super duper bronzed up, you know, on my face, so it might be kind of hard to tell. But yeah, she's a, she's definitely a summer shade. And she's a nice consistency, though. She really is. Even though she's thick, I could tell that she dries down to a nice semi or a demi, <laughs> demi, semi or demi matte. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to keep her, okay? Because, yeah, it's a nice summer shade. I do tan up nicely in the summer. So yeah, I'm going to keep her Dream Liquid Mousse. And this is from Maybelline in the color Coco. Okay, next I have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour. These names! Demi Matte Finish. <laughs> this is in the color 112 Coco. Okay, and I think 
I like this. I think I love this foundation, actually. Now, as far as the color goes, that's another story. For so long, you know, we've had to get used to mixing and matching and doing different things to colors to make them work that we just kind of got used to it, you know? So it's kind of like, okay, I love the finish, but the color, not so much. Yeah, this one, I definitely know that I like the finish of it, even though it's like a little bit thicker, but it doesn't, it's matting down. It's not, you know, like completely shiny or completely matte. Let me see this lighting here. Yeah. So even though it has a little bit of an orange undertone to it, I like the finish. The finish of that is really, really nice. So it's, I'm sure it's one of those where I was like, oh, I could work with it. I could fix it with my concealer and my bronzer and stuff because the finish is nice. So yeah, I'm keeping her. The L'Oreal Infallible, I'm keeping her because I like that finish. Even though the color's not the best, I like the finish. Okay, you guys. So next I have here my Collab Meet Your Matte Foundation and I have the color Mocha. <laughs> So I remember when I tried this foundation out and tested it out in a video. That's when I first fell in love with my collab setting powder and all that stuff. But, and she has a pump. It's a really nice glass bottle. Um, I need to try some more collab products as a matter of fact. But she's kind of thick, as you can see. She's kind of thick. Uh, but this foundation... <laughs> The problem I had with it was the fact that it's supposed to be matte, but she never got matte. I mean, the color is nice and rich. As you can see, it's a deep color, nice and rich. It actually looks really nice with a brightening concealer on me. But yeah, she's supposed to be matte and she never got matte on me. I wore her all day, all night. And she never mattified. She just stayed just like this. And uh, I don't like this finish. <laughs> you know, I look like a grease ball with this finish. And so uh, I really wish I would have just taken it back and got my money back. Because I've had this for a long time. And I know I do not like this finish because it never mats down. So... <laughs> going in the declutter and she y'all she damn near completely full okay she is completely full almost <sighs> so yeah i've been doing a lot better though with returning foundations that don't work for me in the past i used to just throw it on the shelf and save it maybe for somebody else who i could give it to but i have accepted the realization that nobody around me is the same color as me so if it doesn't work for me, it's going right back to the style. Okay. Okay, next I have my Fenty Beauty, their original Pro Filter Matte Foundation. And when I first got this, I was all excited. I think everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people were excited. Oh, Rihanna, she got makeup, Fenty, ooh, ah, 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 ah. And... <laughs> So in all the hype and excitement, I believe that I really liked it. And now, whenever I use it now, that's what it looks like. And I have the color 440, actually. So this color pulls quite orange on me. When I put it all over my face, honey, I look orange. I look like a straight up pumpkin, okay? And so I'm not feeling the color 420 works really good for me. That's what I have in the new hydrating foundation is 420. Works excellent. But the 440, it's a little too orange for me. And I don't know. I've used this foundation several times, not, you know, recently. And I just don't like it. I'm not feeling it. I don't know if it's the color, the finish, or what. But I feel like it's a little bit too drying. When I put a lot on my hand. But when it dries down... It dries down matte and orange matte face is not cute on me. <laughs> so, mm, yeah, am I going to declutter this? It's kind of hard to give this up because, you know, it's Fenty. I'm going to put this in a maybe. <laughs> I'm going to put that in a maybe. Y'all can't judge me because y'all know I've been doing real good. I've been decluttering a lot of stuff. Okay, so this Revlon 24-hour color stay makeup in the color cappuccino i have to assume that i like this stuff because i have the cap all taped down the cap 
broke and so if i took the time to tape it down so i can keep it <laughs> then i must assume that at least at the time i really liked the foundation so we're gonna check it out because i haven't used this in quite a while y'all it's so many new foundations it's like a new foundation every other day i mean they just going ham with all these releases. So, you know, you use one, you get used to it. And then, if you know, if you're a makeup lover like I am, of course you want to try everything because, you know, you might come up on the next best, greatest thing. So, okay, so she, she kind of thick. She kind of thick. And she looks very warm. Once again, looks like she, well, it kind of looks like it has a... <laughs> strangely enough a bit of an orange undertone but it's kind of leaning more cool than warm i don't know it could just be my eyes playing with me but yeah she has quite a bit of an orange undertone to her is this matte no it doesn't say matte anywhere but yeah it says combination to oily skin hmm. yeah it, she looks very very dewy honey and very thick and quite orange so Eh, I don't know. I know that if I put that all over my face, I would pull very orange. So, uh, dang. All right, Revlon. I'm sorry, but you got to go. Tape and all, honey. Tape and all. Okay, next I have my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And in this one, I have the color Spiced Rum. And I already know I like this foundation. She is... A nice consistency, not too thick, not too thin. And she looks nice and I don't know, this coverage is nice. I like this coverage. Doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. I like the coverage. She's very warm, toasty, you know, not too orange, really nice, just warm and toasty shade. I could go with a shade that has a little bit more of a yellow undertone, I think, to it. But this one works out nicely for me. Not a problem. So, of course, I'm keeping my Too Faced Born This Way. Next, I have my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And when I first tried this, y'all, I was like, I like it. Hello, I like it. Um, but it's one of those things, and it has the giant doe foot applicator. I have the color F13, but yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, and that's what she looks like. Nice consistency. She dries down to a nice, a nice matte finish. Nice. I like her. Really nice matte finish. Um, I don't, I don't know that I like her more than some of my other foundations that I love right now, but the color on this foundation, I love it. It has that nice yellow slash golden undertone that really matches my chest very well, as you can see. I like it a lot. So in the finish, I mean the finish, it's a nice matte finish. Coverage, bomb. Finish, bomb. Yeah, so I still like you, Revolution. I still like you, so I'm keeping my conceal and define. And for me, when a foundation is like super matte, like that one is pretty matte. You can go in with a really nice hydrating moisturizer as well as, you know, spraying your makeup, setting your face with a hydrating setting spray as well. So that helps if you find a foundation is too matte. Just make sure that you really hydrate your skin nicely and set it with a hydrating um, spray. Next, I have this Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this is in the color Chestnut. I don't think I like this. <laughs> I've used it a few times, and every time I use it, to my recollection, I don't like it for some reason. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of thick. Um, It looks like it pulls a little cool, like the color that I have. Um, Chestnut, it looks like it pulls a little cool, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah, the color is not that bad, actually. Um, I think it's more so the finish that I don't care for. It's kind of thick. It has that thick feel to it. But, um, yeah, the color match is not bad. Um, 
but it is she thick she is she a little thicky thick but you know what i'm gonna try her out a few more times before i give up on her because she's she don't look too bad it's probably a situation where i don't like the way she feels on my face so i'm gonna try her out one more time before i kick her to the curb okay okay next i have here one of my higher end foundations this is the nars and this one is in new orleans now this one is the all day luminous weightless foundation it says shake well i think i chose the wrong one when i wanted to try out this nars foundation the one that everybody's raving about i can't remember the name of it but i'm pretty sure i chose the wrong one because this one i think is a uh, I don't know. Is this one? Yeah, I don't know. She's not super thick. As you can see, she's a nice, nice uh, consistency. The color looks pretty decent. I don't know what it is about this one that I didn't really care for. It could be that she does. She looks like she, yeah, she pulls a bit orange. This color pulls a bit orange. So that's probably why... I didn't really care for her because when a foundation is just like too orange on me, it looks crazy. So that's probably why I didn't really like her too much. Um, and it doesn't feel like she mattifies enough for my liking. It seems like she is a little bit more dewy than I would prefer for a finish. So I'm going to keep her because I don't feel like I've tried her out enough. I think I need to try her a few more times and then make a final decision because i'm still not sure okay we're coming to the home stretch you guys i only got four five more <laughs> okay so this is the covergirl true blend matte made in the shade d15 and this one is a comfort matte transfer resistant foundation um i like this stuff <laughs> i like it a lot i already know I've used it, tested it out in, um, oh, it has a lockable pump too, so that's pretty cool. Um, tested it out in, you know, a couple of videos, and I like it a lot. This is what she looks like. Nice consistency, not too, too thick, not runny, you know, too runny. And I just, I like this color on me, and I like the finish. So let me just go ahead and show you. So this is what... The color looks like as you can see it has a bit of like a golden but cool undertone and i don't know for some reason it just matches me really nicely you know you can see looking at you know I always look at my chest and you know my center face and it matches me really nicely and i like the finish on it it's not too heavy it's like i like when a foundation has a full coverage but it's not it doesn't have to be matte thick and heavy and that's how this foundation is nice full coverage but it's not crazy thick and uncomfortable to wear so yeah i love this covergirl foundation matte made if you guys hear my dog howling in the background i don't know must be an ambulance or something going by okay next i have burt's bees goodness glows and this is in the color cocoa of course so ah, i don't know i know i've tried it out but it must be a reason why this is what she looks like it must be a reason why i haven't um just like totally fallen in love like foundations that i i like i know i like them i it's, i don't be like eh, how do i feel about it i know if i like it <laughs> so uh i mean the color is not bad it's a pretty decent color yeah the color is not bad um it smells kind of funny yeah it kind of it stinks a little bit but the color is not bad i probably don't like the finish because the finish actually feels a little bit greasy it's like the more i rub it it's just moving all over my hand it's not really giving me a good placement on it so yeah i think i probably don't like how it looks on my face especially if it looks like this nah uh -uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's too shiny so yeah i don't think i'm really feeling the birds bees that much i will try it out a couple more times because it is one of my you know more recent purchases at least within the last few months 
I'll try it out again before I cancel it for sure. Okay, next I have my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Rockefeller Records foundation, okay? And I have the shade Mocha, of course. Um, This foundation is bomb. Bomb.com, popping, all of that. I love this foundation, but I can't use it because the pump gets clogged it gets nasty it gets gunky and it's disgusting okay so i hate that about it like i have to be really careful with squirting it out right now because i have gotten this foundation all over my clothes all over my carpet and y'all know my beauty space hello so anyways i like this foundation i love the finish of it the color that I have is kind of, it's kind of cocoa-licious, you know, it's a nice summer shade for me, but yeah, I love this foundation. It is bomb, okay? The way it dries down, the way it covers, I mean, it has amazing coverage. It's a really nice finish when it dries down. It's a beautiful, like, um, you know, just nice matte finish. I love it. Perfect summer shade for me, but Whoever created this pump, okay, we need to talk because I hate it. It's nasty. It gets clogged up and it's nothing worse than sitting down to do your makeup and you can't get your foundation out or it squirts all over the place and you have foundation all over your clothes. So yeah, I'm going to keep it until I can't keep it no more, okay? <laughs> so yeah, the case I won't stop. I love it, but I hate the packaging. Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex for all skin types. And I have the color DN4. Beautiful packaging. Absolutely gorgeous packaging for this, you guys. Um, I always open it wrong. <laughs> I always pull the top off when it's supposed to twist because there's a nice big doe foot in here. Um, I like this foundation. I like it a lot. It's very, very nice. It has excellent coverage. That's what it looks like. It has excellent coverage. And it's like, it's for, I use this on those days when I want kind of like a, just a light skin-like appearance, a more natural, healthy glow. You know, if I don't want something looking like I have a lot of foundation on my face, this works out well. So as you can see, is definitely, you know, on the lighter shade, it's more of my winter shade. And, but the undertone, it works for me. It just works. It's good for my chest, for my face. It works for me. And it's not a heavy foundation. It's a nice, light, you know, coverage foundation. I like the way it dries down. It's not super duper dry or super duper shiny. And... It's, you know, it's the healthy foundation. It's good for you. It has stuff in here that's good for you. And I like it, okay? It's kind of pricey for a drugstore foundation, but I like it a lot. It ain't going nowhere. Okay, and last but not least, this is my Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. And it actually comes in a little compact. I really don't buy foundations like this, but I wanted to try this out because it was Milani. This one is in the shade Spiced Almond. Um, I kind of feel the same way about this as I do my stick foundations. I just, I don't know. I just don't like these cream, you know, these cream products. They just feel super duper heavy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really creamy and everything, but they just feel really heavy. Um... You know, that's me wiping it on there. But they just feel kind of heavy to me. I mean, it's a really nice color. It really is. It's a really nice color. But it's like when I put this all over my face, I can feel it. And even though it blends out nicely and it's, you know, it's not shiny or anything like that. It's a really nice kind of natural finish. I can feel it. It feels heavy. So I haven't really played with this that much. I've probably used it about three or four times. I actually um, was thinking when I bought this for something that I could travel with. So I don't have to have a bottle or a liquid or whatever. I could just travel with this easily. 
So like I said, I've only used it a few times. I think I'm going to keep it because I want to play around with it a little more just to see if I, I can like it. Because <laughs> right now I'm on the fence, okay? Totally on the fence. But yeah, so that is that. Okay, you guys, I went through all of my foundations. My foundation thing is empty, okay? Now... These are the foundations that I'm decluttering, okay? these. This is my declutter bin, so I did okay. I did okay. I mean, shoot, that's a, a good amount. Now, ooh, these are the foundations that I'm keeping. <laughs> so, you know, it's a decent amount of foundations that I'm keeping. I mean, yeah, granted, but... Look, we got to start somewhere, okay? We have to start somewhere, so don't judge me, okay? And these are the four that I have in the maybe pile. I have, what are these, the Elfs? Yeah, I have the Elfs in my maybe, my ColourPop, and my Fenty in my maybe. So I'm going to hold on to these for a hot little minute, test them out, see how I feel about them. They probably going to end up going into the clutter too. But that's it. I think I did good. Okay. Hey. <laughs> anyway, this video is long enough. Lord have mercy. But hopefully, maybe it gave you an idea of some foundations that maybe you want to try. You know, some shades, comparisons to me, things like that and whatnot. So I had a lot of fun. I feel good. I'm decluttering something. Okay. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles.